Today, let's talk about arbitrary instance method reference. Here, we are invoking a method populate names, which is going to provide us a list of names, which are strings. And on printing, you can see that currently these names are completely in random order. The input and output look same. So our goal is that to make the output in a sequential order. So for this, what we can do here is that I will be taking help of this collections. So I will be saying collections dot sort. Then I will be providing this name list here. The second argument is going to be comparator. So let me provide it something like this. And here it goes in this particular way. Now the next thing which I need to do is that I need to implement the unimplemented methods. Then here what I can say is I will simply need to write o1 dot compare to because since it's a string so we can do it very easily just by saying o1 dot compare to and on executing we can see now the output is in a sequential order. But still the code is looking big so it is of around 32 lines so let's try to make it shorter. So everyone knows here we need to write comparator only and we need to override the compare method. So there is nothing new in this. So let's try to make it short something in this way. And here between the arguments and the body, let's put this arrow symbol. So now it becomes a lambda expression. More things we can make simple is that since there is only one line in the body, so let's remove these curly braces and the return keyword also. And then it is going to become something like this. In the argument, everyone knows it is going to be string. So let's remove this particular part also. And now you can see it is only of 25 lines. And this is how our comparator going to look like. But still we can make it even more simpler. You can see that whatever I'm getting O1 and O2, I'm passing to this compare to method as it is. So what I can do is I can remove this particular part from here and here I can remove it. And here also let me remove this particular thing. But the point is then how I will be calling this compare to method. So what I can do is that I'm getting it from the string. So I will say here string and then double columns. And what I can do is that here I can remove this particular part also now because we don't need that particular one. And this is how we can make an arbitrary instance method reference on executing. As you can see, this one is still working fine and we are getting the correct output. Do like the video if you feel you learned something new today. Thanks.